today we uh, with a new video we gonna do something a bit different so uh, today we're gonna talk about NAS NAS is a, a, a network touch storage so for uh, that we have a guest for, uh, who is expertise from uh, for NAS so we're gonna introduce you to uh, introduce you to uh, Charles Hello, Charles. Hello, okay. um, So he gonna explain us what is, uh, NAS is. So uh, Charles, tell the viewer what is a NAS. Basically, NAS is a network attached storage, uh, like what Gary mentioned. It allows you to share your files uh, across the network. Uh, so simply, uh, I will just buy the NAS. Usually, it comes with a bare bone device. I'll just buy my hard disk. I install the hard disk into the network attached device, which is the NAS. And I can start sharing all my files. I can start backing up all my files within the network. Uh, so Charles, you uh, already explained what a NAS is and uh, uh, what is the benefits. But uh, uh, like I am, I am a gamer. Uh, so we all gamers have the problem with uh, large file, uh, large file sizes to download. So how the NAS can help us to solve that problem? Right. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Uh, I know that a lot of people have this problem when they want to download a file. Sometimes the file can be very large, can be few, few, few gig, 20, 30 or 20 gigabytes, right? Yeah. So traditionally, what we do is we will switch on my computer. Mm -hmm. I will download the files overnight, or maybe even two days or three days overnight, right? But with this Synology NAS, they have a software called uh, Download Station. It's already integrated into the NAS product. Basically, you just install it, very easy to use, and you can switch off your computer, go, go to sleep, while let the NAS download all the files. You can have torrent, you can do download from FTP, FFTP, or whatever download site you want to download, this NAS should support it. Uh, so, uh, tell me more about the file sharing. Okay, uh, like, like most NAS, the main purpose of NAS is to do basic file sharing. But with this Synology product, yeah. it actually allows me to do certain uh, permission. For example, I want to let for a home user version, right? I would like I want to let my my wife uh, watch certain video, but not my my child. So I can set certain different permission for different different users. Right? Yes. Uh, but aside from the file sharing, someone actually mentioned to me whether if they can do wireless file sharing. Yes, you can. There is two ways. One is if you plug your NAS into the wireless network, you can start sharing your files wirelessly. If you don't have a wireless network, what you can do is you can just simply buy a wireless dongle, a Wi-Fi dongle, plug it to the USB port behind the NAS, and you can start sharing your files wirelessly. Okay, uh, so great. Uh, and it, it also uh, very small, yeah. So we yeah. can s uh, save the space uh, because the PC is obviously very large. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, okay. Uh, that's very great feature as well. Uh, so how about uh, if we are traveling? Uh, so obviously we are not in the house uh, in the range of the Wi-Fi. So uh, how the technology can uh, can help us with that? Okay, great question. Um, so aside from the basic file sharing that we can share internally. Uh, one of the good benefits of this Synology product is that I can actually back up all my files to one more additional backup location, which is to the cloud. Yeah. I can you have a you know, Microsoft OneDrive, uh, Dropbox, or even Google Drive, or, and there are I think many, many other uh, cloud online service. cloud services that is uh, supported by this Synology. So a lot of users, for example, let's say I back up my files on the NAS, yes. right? Everything's okay. But in Indonesia, I understand that power failure could be one, one problem, yeah. right? In power failure, I will not be able to share my files because why? Synology will be off also. Yeah. So what I can do, because they have this cloud backup function, I can actually log into my cloud drive, for example, let's say Microsoft OneDrive. I can log into my OneDrive and I can start accessing retrieving my files online. Oh, oh very good. Okay, so we are going to unbox today, going to unbox this DS216 SE. Uh, it's a two-bay uh, Synology drive. It's 
SE stands for Single Environment, so it's, it's one of the cheapest, most affordable technology products out there. Uh, so very simple. There's, this is the technology, the device itself. It comes with one internet cable, network cable. It comes with your usual power cable. Let's see what else you can see is comes with one power adapter, you know, power the mass. Um, it comes with the usual warranty card, or maybe it's not really warranty, it's a uh, intro, okay, Synology quick installation guide. Okay. And of course, they will give you some screws, right, to, to secure your hard drive onto your mass. Okay, so let's let's look further. Let's unpack this one. Okay, let's unpack this. So there you go, the Synology DS218 SD. It comes white color plastic. Plastic. Um, okay, so everything is very simple. You know, the user just need to slide this casing up. And you should, you should be able to see everything inside the, the Synology. Okay, so I'm gonna today I'm gonna install a hard disk, a NAS hard disk, a four terabyte NAS hard disk onto this device. Very simple. You just take the hard disk, slide in to one of the slot, okay. secure, and I'll just use the screws provided to. Secure the drive onto the nest. Okay, very simple. So the drive is secured now. Basically, I just slide back the Synology in, slide it back. Done. And you're done. There is two two holes here. That you if you want to if you want to secure it, you can use the screw provided. If not, for me, people like me, I just leave it unscrewed. So, overall, I want to introduce you that there is one gigabit internet port, two USB 2.0 port, one small reset button, one, obviously, for your power, and one special Kensington lock to secure your device from um, aside from this device, I want to uh, talk a little bit about the hardware inside it. Okay. It comes with a Marvel 800 megahertz single core CPU with a 256 megabyte of RAM. Um, this device supports up to, at this moment, up to 16 terabyte of drive. So you can have 8 gigabyte drive and 8 gigabyte drive combined together and support up to 16 gigabyte. So if you see just now, I can only install one hard drive, but obviously you can install two hard drives. Uh, it 
is a pop grade for multiple version um, from grade uh, zero support grade one and it's a pot just a bunch of drive so basically you just put all the drive inside and you got any any grade going forward um, okay so performance of this drive uh, according to synology is about download speed you can achieve of around 103 megabits per second upload is approximately about 62 megabits per second of course all these determines by your uh, network performance and your computers that all these affects your speed okay so, okay um so this device okay aside from the basic file sharing you can do your vpn server mail server media server or whatever server it should support it um so bottom line, okay, basically this NAS is a centralized place for you to put all your digital files uh, and share it in your local network. Okay, and Synology is actually one of the biggest player in the market, uh, biggest consumer NAS player in the market. And one of the main reasons why I choose Synology uh, because it's actually simple to use, easy to use with their yeah, Synology this uh, this station management OS um, this DS216SE actually is suitable for people with about you know if you have about two to three people sharing files in your office within your office accessing the files simultaneously this would be a good device for you to get okay. um, so if you look at the device, it's actually very small. Okay, but let's say let me compare. This is my typical amount that I use. If you look at how small it is, it's actually very very uh, very small uh, compared to a traditional desktop uh, configuration. We you actually take up the entire space. So this is very single space, very space saving, and it will look good on if you put it at home, right? Uh, so there you have it. Uh, we already learned a lot about NAS, uh, and thank you to Charles uh, you for, to, for coming, yeah, for coming in and educate us about NAS and especially Synology product. Uh, so, uh, if you like this, this video, please uh, like it and leave a comment at below, and check out our uh, other videos and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you in the next video.